Hi everyone, I hope you're well. I can't believe it's December already. I have a new video for you today, which is on my top tips for writing an oral medicine referral. I've also included a section on duty of care and obligations. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Oral medicine referrals, tips from a specialist. What to refer, what to include in the referral, whose responsibility it is if the patient does not show up, and how to follow up on these patients. Most clinicians are familiar with oral medicine and what we do. Some of the things that may be referred include oral infections, radiographic findings, medically complex patients, oral mucosal diseases, malignant and premalignant conditions, temporomandibular joint disorders, headaches, oral facial pain, oral appliance therapy for obstructive sleep apnea, taste changes, salivary gland hypofunction, halitosis, the list goes on. An ideal referral should always include the patient's contact details. I personally believe that the referral should be named to a specific specialist. It doesn't have to be the same specialist every time, but I believe that doing so helps build the relationship between the referring dentist and the specialist and also helps build the rapport between the patient and the specialist. Other things to include are why you are referring the patient, if it's an oral lesion, how long it's been there for, what interventions have been tried, if any future dental treatment has been planned, the relevant medical history of the patient, and ideally a clinical photograph. An example could be, Dear Dr. Poon Nguyen, thank you for seeing Daniel, a 28-year-old male. I am referring him for a white patch involving his left lateral tongue, which has been there for over three months. It was adjacent to a sharp tooth cusp, which was adjusted a month ago. However, there is no change in the white patch. His medical history is not significant. He is an ex-smoker of 10-pack years and consumes two standard drinks of alcohol a day. Thank you, Dr. Awesome. One of my hot tips is regarding duty of care, to always send a copy of the referral to the practice. You may give a copy of the referral to the patient if you want, but by sending a copy of the referral to the oral medicine practice, most practices would return the referral to you if the patient does not show up for their appointment or cancels their appointment. This way, you are aware that the patient has not had the lesion looked at. If the patient has missed or declined the appointment at the specialist, the duty of care and responsibility returns to the referring practitioner. In that case, I would recommend making three attempts to contact the patient to encourage them to attend so the lesion is not missed. And I would document well each attempt at the conversation with the patient. Thank you.